Now, I'm not going to apologize for stating that the Mayor Street was plowed because it was plowed. Now, it may have been plowed in the beginning, but you're going to tell me that a plow never went through Ridge Avenue? Every street in this town was plowed. And Mr. McKenna, I think you said we have five highwaymen. Could you name them, the five full timers? Yes, I can. Um, excuse me, just for one second. Yeah. I don't think it's a relative. Well, it is. I'm a taxpayer. No, excuse, right excuse me. So whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, nobody you. interrupted you. Me. Nobody interrupted me. Yeah, Let the lady talk. Cameron. Have a seat. Oh. Relax. Just like John Cale. Who else you have? Bernard. Bernard. Who else you have full time? Mickey. Joe McCloskey. You said Mickey. Yeah. Who's your fifth one? You've got four, four full time. Not five. Oh, come on, Miss Brown. You wasted your time. Are those, are those positions, Hank left, John Gracie left, are they going to be filled anytime soon? Uh, when when we have the money in a budget to fill them, okay, we, might, we might fill them. All right, so um, the snow removal, uh, I'm not going to go into that again. I just want to let you know that, yes, the pile is still there. And my question is to the mayor. What response are you going to take to the police department for when they are called and they witnessed SNS or the private contractor that SNS hired block that street and no police officer did anything? No action. They didn't tell them to stop. They didn't tell them to remove it. They just allowed them to do it the second time, not the first time, the second time. Well, you did. What is your response? Yes, I was. I have videotapes and I have pictures. Well, and I also matter. called the police. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to tell you anything. But I will tell you this. Okay? I'm going to tell you this. Are you right approaching now. me in a hostile manner? <laughs> Have you approached any other resident when they addressed you? Hold up. I'm about ready to come and tell you something about you my family. You can tell me from okay? right where you're at. You don't have okay, to come well, let me tell you right from where I'm at. Okay? I want you to leave my family alone. Okay? I'm the car that, that we had is my uncle's car. Do you understand? He did not get it from S&S Auto. Is she taking Stop. my three minutes? Stop. 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 Because she shouldn't be. Stop it, Paula. Do you understand? Well, Paula, when you we, put this stuff on Facebook, you, put you this should be able to answer Facebook, it. I just I asked a question. Why don't you I ask her to her? I have family. Behind I'm not Facebook. talking about well, that. I'm not talking about that. Listen, I have nothing to do with your family. The amount of the solicitor's bill that was submitted in January for October, November, and December, and January. How much was that? I don't know. Oh, sick of her. Okay, well, it was in, in excess of twenty or thirty thousand dollars. It was several bills combined. So my question is this: Are we going to cut Mr. Santarelli's salary and allow the taxpayers some breathing room? and be able to take the money that he gets for sitting there holding his head down the entire time. Four people got up and addressed this council. He paid no attention. He sat down there with his head. We pay him over $200 an hour or whatever it is, $150 an hour. My question is this. My question is this. The solicitor for Darby Barrow should be in the beginning of the meeting. He should submit his report and he should leave. The taxpayer should not have to sit here and pay his bill. $30,000 for a bill for a month or two is absolutely horrifying. 
That does not happen in any other town, but we sit back and we do nothing. His entire bill for the year should not exceed $40,000. It should not exceed $40,000. And you can cut that in half by saying, Mr. Solicitor, give your report in the beginning of the council meeting and leave. Just like every other solicitor, Democrat and Republican, has done for 50 years. Just like you do with the engineer. The engineer comes in, she gives her report, and she's dismissed. So we don't have to sit and pay that bill. Now, my last uh, question is this. I would like to know, Mayor, if you have a log of what days the chief worked last week and the week before for during the first snowstorm and for this snowstorm, specifically February 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. What were his hours? Well, what you do, Paul Brown, is you put it on a piece of paper and you present it to me, and I'll give you your answer at the next council. I'm meeting. asking you now, I'm did you, you work for Darby Barrow? You what well, were his hours? The so then you're telling me you don't know the schedule, no, whether he worked or not. No, I'm not. You, you can't tell, tell me you whether he worked. Did. did he submit to you any request for vacation? Right. Or comp put time or personal time. Put it in writing. Not putting it in writing. Well, you are my mayor, and I have the right to ask and you. And I just told him to put it in writing. Department. Did you grant him any vacation time Ms. or personal Brown. time? Yes, I right. said to you, you put it in writing. That's your answer. Well, the days that he was plowing his Verizon parking lots with his truck was not what personal business. Okay. Not the man was he morning. receiving a full yeah. paycheck from Darby Barrow? My taxes. Pay his salary and you I don't pay taxes. To you don't pay taxes. Pay taxes. 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 You don't pay taxes. And for your information, I don't pay taxes. My time off. Yeah. 